Have you ever imagined that AI could create human faces that have never existed on Earth before? Take a look at these faces. These people have never walked the Earth before. Look how realistic these faces are. These images have been generated using a type of artificial neural networks known as GANs or Generative Adversarial Networks. Pretty scary, right? In this video, I will show you how GANs work in a simple, easy, and fun way. By the way, I'm Dr. Ryan Ahmed from Stemplicity. At Stemplicity, we offer premium content on science, tech, engineering, math, artificial intelligence, and personal finance in an engaging, easy, and fun way. We will be releasing new weekly YouTube videos, so please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that already. GANs were developed by Ian Goodfellow in 2014. For simplicity's sake, let's assume that we want to build a GAN that could create fake dollar bills. So GAN network is formed of two competing networks known as the generator and the discriminator. GANs work by having a generator network, or what we call it the counterfeiter, who's being trained to create fake dollars that are indistinguishable from the real ones. When I say real images, that means dollar bills that have been generated by the bank. The discriminator network, which is the police in this case, is being trained to determine if this dollar bill is real or fake. The counterfeiter is trying to fool the police by pretending that he generated a real dollar bill. But the discriminator on the other side will detect the fake money and provide feedback to the generator on why does he think that the money is fake. Over time, the generator will become expert at generating new money that you cannot distinguish from the real ones, and the discriminator will fail to tell the difference. So let's take a look at the generator network and the discriminator network on their own, and then we'll put them together and train the entire GAN network. Let's start with the generator first. The generator takes in a random noise signal and outputs certain images. The generator is trying to generate fake images that are like the real images. When I say real images, these mean, that means the images that come from the training data. The objective of the generator is to try to fool the discriminator. Let's take a look at the discriminator network. The discriminator network is a basic neural network that is trained to perform a basic classification task. The discriminator is trained to do the following. It will output zero or probability equals to zero when the input image is fake and will output one or probability one when the input image is real. So let's put the generator and the discriminator together and train them in one shot. Let's take a look at the discriminator training first. The generator will take in random noise and generate fake images. Both fake images and real ones are fed to the discriminator network just in, in its feed-forward path. The discriminator will generate predictions based on the input images, both real and fake ones. Discriminator predictions are then compared to the true labels and the error is being calculated. The problem is a basic binary classification artificial neural network training and the discriminator is trained to predict one for real images and zero for fake ones. The error or the loss is propagated through the network to update the discriminator weights using backpropagation. Please note that the generator weights are not updated at this stage. What about the generator training? The generator training is performed as follows. The generator will generate fake images as usual. The fake images are fed to the discriminator and it will generate predictions or probably classified as fake or class zero. The discriminator output will be compared to ones and that's very important because it's trying to fool the discriminator to think that this is a real image. Another way of visualizing this is that the discriminator predictions are compared to one so that the error will represent the feedback that answers the following question. I know that's a little bit tricky, so let's focus a little bit here. How far off am I from generating real images? What should I do better to generate more realistic images? The generator weights are updated, while the discriminator weights are frozen at this time. So let me show you how GANs work in action using what's called GAN Lab. 
All right, so let's take a look at GAN Lab. So if you guys go to this link here, and uh, this GAN Lab is actually an amazing tool that has been created basically with the collaboration between Georgia Tech and Google Brain. So the overall idea is to try to visualize the GAN or Generative Adversary Network training in action and you actually see what's happening. But here we're not going to deal with real images. We're going to do, we're going to use data distribution. For example, let's pick like this one for instance, like this data distribution. And what we want is that we want the generator to be able to learn or, you know, as basically over time to try to generate the exact same style of image or exact same image pretty much to try to tr trick the discriminator and uh, so, th so the discriminator will reach the state where it will not be able to differentiate between real samples and fake samples. So let's run it and let's give it a shot. So here we are running it. And as you guys can see, the first step is the noise will be fed to the generator and the generator first will start to generate fake images as usual. And then what happened afterwards is that real images coming from the training data and fake images that have been generated by the generator will be fed to my discriminator. And then, and then the discriminator was going to compare the results simply to either label one for real images or label zero for fake ones. And what's happened is, is that we're going to create or calculate our discriminator loss and update the gradient. And that will be the first iteration. And then every, what's going to happen is, is to train the generator, what's going to happen is we're going to feed in the noise. The generator will generate, again, fake samples. These fake samples will be fed to my discriminator. But here we are going to simply compare the results or, or compare the output to ones. And that's very important. And then we're going to, to calculate the generator loss and come back and update the generator network. And that's the overall idea of GANs in action. And as you guys can see here, what's happening is that's my real images and this is the fake one. And the generator is trying to getting better and better over time. It's trying to, here the distribution is trying to get a little bit closer to the actual real results here. Again, pretty amazing. And here you guys can see simply these are, all these green dots are the real samples and all the purple ones, these are the fake ones. So the green dots are simply fixed and here all the fake ones are moving over and over again to try to simply reach a state where they are pretty much identical to my real samples. And what you guys can see here, all these like lines here, this means the, the direction of my gradient. So you can actually see where these points are actually moving within the different um, epochs. And as you guys can see here, that's my epochs. Here we reached almost 5,000 epochs. And as you guys can see here, the, the generator has been able to generate actually very, very good samples that are very hard to distinguish from real ones, okay? All right, and what you could do as well, which is pretty amazing, is that you can run this GAN lab in slow mode. So here, if you actually slow it down, it can show you exactly what's happening, which is again, pretty fascinating, thanks to the developers of this. First, we're going to generate basically the samples from the noise, and then the discriminator will classify the samples, and then we're gonna compute or calculate the discriminator loss. And then step four, we're gonna compute the discriminator gradients, and then update the discriminator based on the gradients. That's simply our discriminator, discriminator training loop. And then afterwards, we're going, the generator will generate samples here, and then the discriminator will classify fake samples only, if you guys remember, we compare them to ones, and then compute the loss, compute the gradient, and then update my generator weights based on this gradient. And I will leave it for a bit here for you guys so you guys can get the idea again. That's again, we're calculating the generating the image, and then we're going to classify the fake samples, and then calculate the generator loss, the gradients, and then go back, update here the generator again weights. And then we go up, and then we train the discriminator. Again, these five, again, five steps, pretty amazing. Calculate the disc discriminator loss, go back and update the gradient. And as you guys can see here, you can actually visualize the discriminator loss and the generator loss. And you keep repeating, repeating over time until basically the generator becomes amazing at generating fake images that are indistinguishable from reality. Again, there's a lot of details here. I would highly recommend that you guys check out this website. 
And you can go here and select maybe other, for example, distributions and see if the GAN network works, works best or not. If you like this video, please smash the like and subscribe buttons for more videos. Enjoy AI and happy learning.